of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Fire of the Holy Ghost all over your body right now in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire. Fire. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Who are you? Who are you? Who's in this body? Who's in this body? What have you done to him? Speak out in Jesus' name. Speak out in Jesus' mighty name. Stop this nonsense. Speak out. I'll what? destroy. You'll destroy? Who are you? What is your name? Satan. Satan? What is your function in his life? What do you do? How do you destroy his life? Marriage. Speak out in Jesus' name. How did you destroy his marriage? Just division. Division. Who is the cause of anger. division? Who is the cause of anger and division? He is. Who? He is! How did you enter him? Childhood. Molestation. You entered through molestation. What else have you done to his life? What have you done to his health? And what have you done to his finances? I've broken it. You've broken it. I've scattered it. You scattered it. I've moved it. You moved it. What else did it you do? You did not succeed. What else did you do? I destroyed his life, his marriage, his ministry, his career. And if he did not stop, I'll destroy. What else have you done? I've put bound. You bound him with what? I put chains. What did you put chains on? Lust, greed, confusion. I've spoken. I confused them. He doesn't belong to you. His body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And so right now, all of you seven, you group together and you have to come out of this body in Jesus' mighty name. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Every one of you, fire in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Fire, fire, fire. Out of every one of you, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Every part of your body, fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Loose him right now. Come out of him in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of him. Loose him. Loose him right now. Loose him. Loose him in Jesus' mighty name. Loose him. Loose him right now. Loose him right now. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out. Out in Jesus' name. Loose him. Loose him in Jesus' mighty name. And we declare you free in Jesus' mighty name. Can you stand up? What is your name? Chris. Your name is Chris? Yeah. Well, you just mentioned that you're Satan. <laughs> Are you Satan? I manifested, huh? Well, you didn't manifest. The demon that was tormenting your life, that was destroying your life, yeah. Were you aware that something was going on in your life that was not of God? Yeah, a lot of things. A lot of things? Yeah, I feel and, free now. I feel and like who is this person next to you? It's my wife. It's your wife? Yeah. Can you, can, you, uh, can you come? Now, you've heard what the demon spoke through him and all of these things. Um, did you see any of those things operating in his life? Um, yeah, kind of sometimes when uh, he would get mad, he'll look different. He would look different? Yeah, he'll look different. Kind of like similar to what you've seen right now? Yeah. Okay. And um, he'll just like, just storm off and go. Okay. Well, the evil spirit that was tormenting his life by faith today has been cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Set me free. We welcome you today to the anointing water prayer line in the United States. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Christian Ramirez, and I'm from California, Los Angeles. And can you tell us who is this person that is standing next to you today? Next to me is my wife, and her name is Stephanie Martinez. Ramirez, actually, now. Ramirez. And can you tell us what is the problem that brought you here today to receive prayer with the anointing water? Well, there's always been backsliding, and I needed deliverance, so that's the main reason I came. And can you tell us what kind of things have happened in your life that would make you say that you need a deliverance? Um, there's been a lot of backsliding for the past couple years. Uh, 
there's always been I always felt like something inside of me you know and that dabbled a lot a lot of the witchcraft and the spells did that before and so I was trying to break free from it and that's what brought me here for that for deliverance and can you explain to us a little bit more when you say that you dabbled into witchcraft what do you mean well read the books try to cast in spells stuff like that um you could you could say I kind of search the darkness and I try to pursue it, and I try to use it for my own selfish, well, my own selfish reasons. Yeah. And as you begin to get into witchcraft, how did it affect your life? Everything really started going downhill from that. Started having more problems financially, relationships within family. It just kind of it was kind of like a like a snowball on the hill. It just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it started getting worse and worse and worse. And it just affected every area of my life. So when you say that you had problems in your finances, what kind of problems did you have? To be honest with you, I was always broke. Never had any money. I tried to, I tried to save and I couldn't save. I tried to, try to work and try to get a raises and it never happened. It just everything as far as finances, it was always bad. Always bad. I never, I never had anything. So that's why I was having trouble. And how has this problem also affected your relationships? Um, there's always angers, there's always uh, issues are always coming up. And if it was little things, little things here and there that'll make me blow up, that'll make me get angry, frustrated, and shoot me or send me to do things that I really didn't want to do but I had no control over. But my marriage was practically crumbling. You know, we were, pro we were almost going to divorce like about three, three, four times. And there was never any real, you could say, Secureness. And how can you say that this relationship or this problem has uh, affected your family? Well, I know it affected my child in ways because I wasn't there. You know, I know I'd give my wife a rough time, and it just, it was hell. In other words, it was bad. And today, when you're receiving that prayer with the anointing water, do you recall anything that was going on at that time? Um, yeah, I felt, I felt, and I was getting prayed for. Before, even before the service, actually, when I stepped in. On, Sar on Saturday, I actually wanted to leave. I didn't want to come back today. And <laughs> I wanted to go. And during service, I was, I was getting these feelings in my stomach. I was getting these feelings like I wanted to throw up. And I started getting angry for no reason, frustrated. And, and everybody around me, and while they were praying, I started feeling something. I started hearing voices within me. And it just, it just overtook, and, and I, I can't remember from there. Can you expand a little bit more about, you mentioned that you had dabbled into witchcraft. What what kinds of things would you do? Well, I started by reading the book. You know, I started reading the book and that got my attention. And then I started playing with the Ouija board. I started doing that. And I started, uh, I started contacting people to see if we could cast spells and started doing that. And just just went into it really went into it. Can you explain a little bit more about when you went into this witchcraft, who did it affect? What kind of people would you try to cast spells on and why? It was mostly uh, women. It was cast spells upon women. What would you try to make them do when you would cast these spells on them? Why? What was your purpose in doing such a thing? The purpose was to get what I wanted, to do what I wanted. But what kinds of things did you want from them that they were not already giving to you? I used, well, money, sex, it was all for manipulation. I wanted to do. I wanted. Them, I wanted them to do what I wanted. You know, I wanted them to do my will. And how can you say that this dabbling into witchcraft and casting spells on people? How did this affect your marriage? It affected my marriage in many ways. It actually brought demons into my home, and they started provoking my child, started provoking my wife. Everybody was getting frustrated most of the time. I didn't see most of the time. There's always a lot of disputes. Um, the family started getting hit hard a lot. People within my family started moving away, even though they were with God, it, 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 they moved away and things like that. It, uh, it brought a lot of trouble. And you, I tried to do another spell to make it better, but it wouldn't work. You know, it would last for a while, but then it all turned worse. Like, I'll try to do something with it, and it'll come back to me twice as hard and worse. Sometimes even three times as hard. And it all depended on what I did and what I did, and you know, how I used, used to use it. but. The main point, it used to come back hard to me. It always used to come back hard. So can you tell us a little bit about what happened to you today as you received that prayer with the anointing water? Well, <clears throat> I started seeing the people get delivered and something inside of me started moving. I wanted to run outside. And when it came up, I knew I couldn't go anywhere. Something was like holding me, I couldn't move. And so when I went to the front, 
I knew that it was my time to get delivered and I started feeling it and while during the prayer I started feeling heat I started feeling my body convulge I started feeling um things within me trying to move and then I started hearing voices and I would try to control my body but I couldn't and then when they were praying and they were using the name of Jesus Christ I could hear screams within me you know inside inside of me I could hear screams and I could hear how they didn't want to go and when when he opened what really got to me when he when he said open your mouth and he spread the anointing water into my mouth and I swallowed it that's when I really felt the power of God that's where I really felt Christ doing something uh, and now that you've received that prayer with the anointing water do you believe that you have been completely healed and delivered from these problems that have been affecting your life of course um, like in the last and the la at the la at the ending when I was in my back I remember opening my eyes and and I felt free I felt like this this ton just lifted up for me I felt like you could say these chains just slipped off from me and when I got up I felt different I knew I was different. Yeah, so that's what I felt. Amen. Well, right now we would like to hear from your wife uh, just for a little bit. Can you tell us your name? Uh, Stephanie Ramirez. And Stephanie, can you tell us, uh, can you confirm uh, what happened today with your husband as he was receiving that prayer? What kinds of things hap has been happening in your life um, that was revealed today? Um, well, my husband, uh, he backslid about two years ago. Uh, he stopped going to church, and I noticed right away um, there was a lot of anger in his life. Uh, there was times where I would leave church to church, and I would come back home, and I felt like I was walking on eggshells. Uh, and I felt like anything can kind of just set him off, and he would just be angry. Um, it did cause a lot of division, um, a lot of problems in between our marriage uh, in the sense where... Um, I was always constantly hurt, and um, I felt like, in a sense, like I knew it wasn't him. There was something beyond that, and um, that's what brought us here. Were you aware that your husband was dabbling into witchcraft? We got married uh, about four or five years ago, and in the beginning, I did notice uh, when he, the first year, I did notice he was dabbling a bit. Uh, I'm a, a person that does research, but um, I noticed some kind of a, just, he wasn't the same. He had a different look to him. Um, and just, I knew he was interested because we would have topics here and there would come up about witchcraft. But I kind of was like, uh, I kind of didn't want to accept it in a sense. And, but overall within the last year or so, I would say, Deep down, I knew, but did I catch him doing anything like that? No. And now that your husband has been declared free, do you believe that, that he is completely free and that today is a new beginning for you and your husband in your marriage? Yes, I do believe so. I believe that uh, if the Lord brought us here to this day and this was the day that he made for us, I believe that from here on out, yeah. we will see the hand of God in our marriage and in our lives. Amen. Well, we thank God for this wonderful healing and deliverance. And we want to encourage you that obviously you have been healed and delivered by God's word, that you will continue to make his word the standard for your life so that your ma marriage will continue strong and that you can continue to uh, raise up in faith in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Set me free.